It made me feel like an outlaw, like a criminal. And I got singled out and screamed at. I got humiliated in front of my fellow classmates. The state laws or the school laws of the Constitution indicates that students don't have to check their First Amendment rights when they enter the school. I like this shirt because I support the NRA. And it has a great rifle on it. It's a Remington R25 semi-automatic hunting rifle. It fires a 308 caliber round, and I obviously see nothing wrong with it in any way. It's not no comment, it's the fact that I just can't discuss a student. I thought it was, it was just ludicrous that an eighth grade kid, an honor student, could be thrown out of school and arrested for merely wearing a t-shirt to school that, that was not offensive in any way. This one attack on this little kid in the school it was not attacking him, it was attacking on anybody that has the same belief system as we do. It was a direct assault on the NRA and every single NRA member. A direct assault. I think it was personal beliefs and personal biases. And if the teacher, if the educator knew his own school's policy, then he definitely would not have called me out on the shirt. Apparently, they don't like firearms, but there's a big bronze reminder that firearms aren't the evil thing right in front of their school is a statue called the Doughboy, which features a World War I soldier with an 03 Springfield rifle in his hand and a grenade in his opposite hand. But I figured I could just change the name of the statue to Define Irony. We have an overreaction to something that was not a threat, wasn't causing a disruption, and based on the facts that I believe are to be correct, is the disruption of the learning process was created by the teacher. He asked me to turn it inside out or call home for a new shirt and I respectfully refused. Then he started yelling, screaming and disturbing everyone eating lunch that day. I used my right to freedom of speech to express my Second Amendment rights. Could I believe this happened? No, not here, not in Southern West Virginia. We are truly a gun culture, and to have that here, it's a shock to the system. If it can happen here, it can happen anywhere, trust me. Now a developing story, the student suspended and arrested at school after a dispute over his t-shirt returned to class this morning. The first part is done, getting him back in school. Next is clearing his school record. Then next is clearing his possible criminal record. It has the potential to ruin his life. Whenever I graduate high school, I want to join the military, the army. He wants to follow myself, his brother, his uncle, his, his grandfather, his great-grandfather. You know, there's a strong military tradition on both sides of the family, and this can do a lot to derail all of that. If charges aren't filed, do you still see, though, a lawsuit coming? I do see this being a First Amendment lawsuit because we fully believe and will stand by that but for the teacher's action, this would not have happened. I'm fighting for this because you should definitely exercise your rights and you should not have them violated by any personnel whatsoever. More importantly, I think the administration, the people that cause this issue inappropriately should be disciplined, held accountable to prevent events like this from happening again. I do not think anybody has any earthly conception how far I will go in the legal realm, how far I will push this. There's no limit. There's no limit at all. Do you find yourself asking what the heck has happened to common sense in this country? It's just eroded, and I think there's just a knee-jerk reaction to, oh my gosh, there's a gun on a shirt. That's got to be a violation of something, and it's not. This teacher just didn't like what was on the shirt and wanted to superimpose his beliefs. I'm noticing slowly an infiltration of activist educators, I like to call them, and they're trying to indoctrinate these children with their thought process when they should be more concerned about curriculum and test scores instead of trying to social engineer our children. And I'm really not going to stand for it. Uh, not at all. No way. We as Americans are, we're under attack. Those of us who believe in the Founding Fathers' rule of law, and it's just more proof of what the liberal left is trying to do to make us all conform to their way of thinking. Freedom is eroding, and that's a lot of emails I get. People say, what the hell is going on with our country? Excuse my language. I'm looking for this adversity to actually turn into an advantage. Maybe this is a wake-up call everybody needs. Because you got to get out and you have to get involved. If you don't speak, somebody will speak for you, and more than likely it's not somebody that's going to reflect your ideas. What do you want people to know about who you are? I want them to know that I stood up for my rights and that I'm getting great, great support, and I appreciate that. It is your duty as an American to, to keep this going. I swore. When I joined the military, we take an oath to swear to uphold the Constitution of the United States. That's what I'm going to maintain. I'll fight for as long as it takes.